Hi, my name is Stacey Hausch and I'm the founding director of 1000 Ripple Effects, which is our amazing book project going all around the world for those kids out there who have no one, no supportive family structures. And today we have Rob Vickery, aka, otherwise known as, The Running Man. Right. Now Rob came on board as an author a little while ago. Mm. He has an amazing story. He's a bit of an adventurer and uh, we're going to hear his message today. So Rob, you tell us your story. Thank you very much Stacey. Uh, it's an honour to, to be here and share my story with everyone. It's very close to my heart. Um, basically, my story began four years ago, pretty much to the day, on the 22nd of November 2012, when my grandmother died when she left her body. She raised me, I was very close to her, and I was there at her at her transition, at her death. And it was a, it was a very transformative time for me. I, I, I often say, one life ended and another life began. And over the last four years, that's pretty much how it's been for me. I, um, I took a step back from my life and, and I had a good life, and, but just I wasn't living the spirited life I, I really wanted to live. So I, I, I left the job I loved, I gave up a beautiful uh, unit by the beach that I loved, and I, I gave up everything here in Australia and I went off an adventure around the world. And um, I've been traveling ever since, I've been to many countries through, through Asia and China and Europe. And I just got back from New Zealand yesterday. And um, the, my, my message is very simple. It's don't take life so seriously and have more fun. I know, look, I'm a realist. We all have problems in life from time to time. And, I'm so, and we all have responsibilities when I'm saying, just don't be so serious and have more fun. And for me in my life, you know, they say we teach what we most need to learn. I've found for myself that that has been absolutely true and continues to be true. And that, that's just what I want people to get from, from when they see me do the running man. I don't want them to go and do the running man themselves, unless they want to, of course, but do whatever it is that makes you happy, that makes you have more fun. Maybe it's being creative, uh, maybe it's, it's doing art or, um, or singing or whatever. Whatever it is for you, do that. Do more of that. Do as much as you can of that. That's, that's the message of the running man. Well, you've heard it here. The message of the running man is to do more of what you love. Do more of what makes you happy in this world. Have so, more have more fun. Exactly. <laughs> it's about having fun and living life to the fullest. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. You know, making the best of every opportunity that's presented in front of you. And, and, and to be more of yourself. Everyone is so unique. Everyone has something to offer in this world. And just to find those things that you love doing and do more of them more often. Did you hear that? The running man or Rob has just said that you guys are unique. Everyone here was, is with a unique purpose, uh, with a unique ability and a unique skill set. Yes? yes? And everything is about love. Everything is based on love. We all do everything that we love. Is that right? Yeah, every, every, yeah, I think so, but I think a lot of people can get stuck in their lives. This, I, I know speaking from personal experience and looking at people around me in my life, it's, it's very easy to get stuck in a rut, you know, you get up, you go to work, you come home, you have dinner, you go to bed, you repeat. And you kind of lose the magic and the, the spirit out of your life. So it's just about, you know, not dropping your responsibilities totally, but just, just trying to, just to do, as you say, do a little bit more of those things that you love, even if it's an hour extra a week, and then make it two hours and just build on that. And <laughs> life starts to take on a different perspective and, a diff and just life starts to change in many wonderful ways. You still have problems, as I told you earlier. The problems don't go away, but I've found by living in this way, I have different ways, my, my perspective has changed. I can see problems in different ways. So I don't take them so seriously, even my problems so seriously, um, and I just feel like I'm... It's I'm, easier to handle them. It it's is. easier like, to get through them. Yeah, and, and that true, genuine happiness that comes from within that we all have, I find that it, it's, it's the, I have the experience of that more often than I used to. Okay. Alrighty. So Rob, tell us a little bit of the essence of the story that you're going to be sharing in the book that everyone's going to read. Yeah, basically I will share some of my experiences as I've travelled around the world, different people I've met, 
and different things I've learned from different experiences I've had. I'll share uh, my philosophy, my overall philosophy that I've just spoken about. And look, the, the book is still being written. I'm taking off <laughs> uh, in, today's Sunday. I'm taking off next Thursday on my greatest adventure yet. I'm going to Central and South America for eight or nine months. I'm starting in Guatemala. I'm going to learn Spanish for three months because why not, right? <laughs> Woohoo! You know, we all have dreams, and um, it's always been one of my dreams to go to Central and South America to learn Spanish, to do Latin dancing. Because as you know, I love dancing. So, all right. So it's you know the, the book has still been written, and um, so. Let's, so let's see what happens. Huh? You're about fulfilling your dreams. You're about going after and actually making them happen, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. And I, for me, look, my purpose is I don't have any so many goals. It's just to live a happy, joyous life, to have more fun, right. and see where that takes me. Hopefully, hopefully, it inspires others to do the same. I like that because you have inspired many people around the world. You've inspired people to get up and dance. You've inspired people to take a risk and actually go and fulfill a lifelong dream that they've always had. Yeah. You've inspired many people to go and do many things. So I'm actually looking forward to reading this story when it's actually finished and in the book. And I want to see how this story inspires all those other people out there that actually read it as well. So you've heard today from Rob Vickery, or The Running Man, as we all know him, very affectionately know him. And his story is going to be in the 1000 Ripple Effects book project. And we're going to read that book, or read Rob's story. And at some point, we're going to be inspired by his words. Thank you very much for being here, Rob. And My we'll pleasure. talk to you soon. Sounds good. Look forward to it.